example of Leo, we are going to check to see how is your person feeling about you right now. This is general reading, so it may not resonate with all Leos. So take the messages that resonate with you. Leave the rest behind. All right, so this is a reading about your person and how they are feeling about you. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We have anxiously stressed out. The world card. Uh, we have development and news of news. And we have Weirly Defense Garden. So basically we have, we're coming in with the Nine of Swords. This person is basically completely stressed out, um, stuck in their heads, unable to sleep, you know, just constantly thinking, thinking and worrying and thinking and worrying. But something's going to change with this person. This person is going to get into this Page of Wands energy. Could be that this person is stressed out because they were in the Page of Wands in, uh, energy. Page of Wands energy is a very immature energy. That's somebody who um, holds on to like a player type of energy, um, you know, just kind of um, non-committal, you know, in and out of a, a relationship, you know, when things get hard, they leave. When they think it's calm, they try to come back, right? Your person also, um, or should I say they will be coming into the nine of wands energy so they're going to be feeling a little defensive and again i feel like it's all about whatever they've done as far as this player energy goes they've done something that they're going to feel like they need to defend themselves about okay so we have the queen of cups and that's going to end up being in the center of the reading here So we're going to take this one here and we have, um, so we have the queen of cups and we have the ace of swords. So it's a, it's about love. Basically. Um, it's you Leo having, it's like you kind of, you're having like gut feelings about whatever went on. Like something's telling you, you know, that this or that took place and you're going to start seeking clarity, and that's probably why your person is going to be defensive, okay? At the end of the day, I see you guys trying to work together or work it out, probably sitting down trying to talk it out, but we have the Three of Pentacles where you guys are going to collaborate on something. Yeah. So even though you got a gut feeling that something is going on, you're still going to, you're still going to stick around. You're still going to stick around. And it's because you got no proof. This is something, this is your thoughts. Okay? This is, this is, you're kind of on to something, but you're not sure about it. Right? You're not 100% sure. But you do have this gut feeling that something's going on. Hello? So let's see. Let's go ahead and clarify. Why is, what do we need to clarify here? Your person they're stressed out let's clarify stress and see what's going on with them why is the nine of swords here please why is the nine of swords here for leo's person okay your person has the magician and they also have the ten of pentacles so your person is a little stressed out because they're unable to manifest some form of wealth or some form of uh being content about something hmm let's see tell us more all right, they have the Six of Wands and they have the Sun card. So this person, you may have, you may have kind of walked away from this person. Maybe not walked away, but you moved on slightly. I do see that you're going to come back. But something happened between you and your person. And it 
has them thinking that you're moving forward. Now, the sun card is here. You're actually not moving on from this person. You're not. Maybe you're upset with them about something, but I don't see that you're actually moving on. Let's see why the page of wands is here. All right. So we have the lovers card. So the lovers is here twice. So you do care about this person, but your Ten of Cups is in reverse. So this confirms that, and this is on the page of wands, okay? So you do love this person. This person does love you, but this person did do something that they had no business doing. And you kind of got a feeling about it, but you're not 100% sure. But this clarity is coming in behind this, but your person's going to be, they're, they're defensive. They're going to be defensive. And this is the energy that you're going to be coming into. Let's see why they're defensive. Tell us why the Nine of Wands is here. Seven of Swords. Yeah. And so this is, again, we have the Seven of Swords on the Nine of Wands. So what this is telling me is that your person is going to be defensive because they are doing something sneaky. Right? They're being sneaky. But, okay. So I keep... I keep hearing, yeah, there's third party situation. Your your person, okay. So this person has done something. I don't feel like this is something that this person does often, but this person did do something where they tried to be sneaky, but some kind of clarity is going to come in. Like you have a gut feeling about whatever this is. You kind of got a intuition about it. Like you're, you know, this gut feeling about it. But you don't have support and documentation. So that's what kind of got you hung up a little bit. But you can kind of feel that something, something is going on behind your back. Tell me about clarity. Oh, yeah. So clarity. So we have um, the chariot. So this is this. This is the information that's going to somebody's going to bring this information to you. Could be a cancer. Um, if you know somebody who has that in their chart, justice. Yep. So somebody's going to come towards you, letting you know, hey, I seen so-and-so doing this or, hey, I heard so-and-so did that. That's kind of how it's going to come to you. Now, when you get this information, you're going to take it as confirmation of what you're feeling already. This is going to balance out the scales because now, now you're going to be in the know about whatever it is. Yep. So what it is, this is going to be karma. Now, this could be vice versa. Okay, Leo, this could be you. Like, okay, I'm just saying, this could be you. But I'm reading it from a Leo's perspective. So for me, this is your person. But whoever this is, uh, you're going to get caught. Tell me about the devil. Why is it here? Okay, so the devil is here. So and you have the nine of cups. So even though there's a tinge of toxicity here this person you still love this person this person is still your wish fulfillment okay now i feel like this particular lover's card is this is the type of love that is your you didn't how can i explain that the two of cups is a chosen love like you're choosing this person they're choosing you you guys choosing to be in love this is a i can't let this person go kind of love this is an attachment you know type of love it, so it has it has some underlying toxicity to it right tell me about the lovers so we have the nine of pentacles so somebody in this connection is feeling single and we have the full card yeah so this somebody's feeling or acting single and being very um, immature, flighty, full card, just kind of does things. They jump into a situation without thinking about the consequences. Okay. So, I don't think we need to clarify that any further, Leo. Somebody, somebody is doing the most right now, but... Somebody is going to get caught up. All right, let's get some oracle messages for you. All right, this is for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What are the additional messages? All 
All right, something flipped over here. Okay. All right. So yeah, we have the holding on. You know, falling in love. But this is a this is a falling in love. This is a holding on to somebody. Okay, it's not finding or falling in love with somebody new. This is a I can't let this person go kind of love. And we also have uh, detachment. So this is your person when we seen them uh, being standoffish, feeling like they need to defend themselves. You know, that's what that is. So I feel like what I'm seeing so far is this person cannot let you go either. Now, why they play these games, I don't know. Let's go deeper. Okay. So we have this lover's card again. Right? Lover's soul tie. This is a lustful connection. We also have going within. So somebody's going to um, get to a point of feeling like they need to have some solitude so that they can work on their shadow side and try to, you know, be a better version of themselves. All right. So that's what that's all about. Engagements in the middle. Now, that's a good thing. Okay. My car just went crazy. So let's stop right there for a minute because they, they have lost it. Okay. Being that they did that, I'm not going to take these two. If they're meant to come out, they'll come out. But we have smoke and mirrors here. And we have romance. Okay, so with engagement in the center, I do feel like when somebody... Really, I feel like this is your person. When they go within, when they do the work, this is going to spark change in this person. But right now, like under this lover's card, this soul tie, this lustful connection, you know... It, so what this means is that it appears to be one way, but that's not the way it is. Also, this card is in the same position as um, the, the information that was going to come in to you. So this also speaks of fake news, you know, gossip, motives, toxicity. So... I don't feel like the information that somebody's going to bring to you is false news, but I do feel like they have motives in telling you this. I do feel like it's gossipy. I do feel like this person is doing this out of jealousy and it's not because they're trying to do something for your greater good. It's just that the person that's coming to tell you something is kind of happy that they think something is going on because they're an asshole. That's pretty much what that is. This is a fake friend more so than fake news. Okay. Um, with you also have romance, sexual healing, okay, emotional stability. So when that comes with this falling in love, holding on, then we have the going within, the solitude, where somebody's going to work on themselves. Somebody's going to try to do the work, you know, and we have romance. So I feel like this is your person right here. And this person loves you, but this person, really what their problem is from what I'm seeing is they're just immature. They have, it's like they have some type of, um... They have a, it's like a, what is the word? I'm like a stronghold or something. And, and I think when this person does the stuff that they do, I don't think the intent is to hurt you. I do think this person loves you based off of the falling in love, like the progression this way. They want to, like they, they look at you as a forever. It's just that this person has some growing up to do. And this person is trying to have the strength and the courage to do that. So that in itself, you know, speaks volumes about your person. We have new start that just came out. So, yeah. So we're ending out of here with the oppression cards, right? So this is your person feeling like they feel, okay. What they're doing is not taking responsibility understanding that they're the ones holding themselves back but they are acknowledging that something is holding them back or something's causing them to do the wrong thing what they're not acknowledging is that it's them okay it's their toxic trait they're not acknowledging they're pointing the finger and they're they're not owning it but they're owning it okay so you got to start somewhere right so at least hey they're acknowledging that it's wrong yeah See, so they're looking at things from a different perspective here, right? And I feel like it's because this clarity is going to come in, albeit very messy. It's still clarity. 
and at the end of the day they did do something that they should not have done so at the end of the day regardless of this person's reasons or motives for coming to tell you the good thing is that they told you okay now they didn't do it for your greater good they did it they did it because they're just toxic people okay and toxic people love drama so, what I see is a new start that's going to come in. Yeah, your person is, my God. So, when I say they're going to be all in their head, I mean all in their head. This person is going to have some depression, some anxiety. Like, they're going to have some severe mental anguish because, like, when you bring forth this clarity and I, you know, I've seen you leaving but not permanently. But the fact that you leave and this person does have an attachment to you. Um that's going to put them through something and they're going to go within because of this depression you know they're going to go within because they're not going to be able to deal with the pressure of you leaving so what's happening here this person has to go through a they need to change they have to go through a transformation so divine timing is at work because what's happening is the divine is stepping in like okay so you're not going to do the work yourself you're not going to fix yourself on your own you're not going to mature you're not going to you know, ascend, you're not going to elevate on your own. Okay, well, let me help you do it. Because you're going to do it. Or you're going to get this work on your own or with my help. Your person clearly didn't do it on their own. So they're going to get some help with that. I don't think they're going to like it. But, hey, what, you, what you're not going to do is tell the divine they ain't finna help. What you're not going to do is tell the divine that you're not finna ascend, okay, and, and become a greater version of you. Okay, so that is definitely going to happen. And your person is definitely going to come out changed because the kind of pain that your person is going to feel is going to be so nasty. All right. So um, they're bad, you know. So Leo, that is what I have for you. So keep an eye open for that energy to come in for you. Um, also keep in mind that we do operate out of free will. So if you wanted to you know, play out the way I just showed you, then just, hey, let it unfold. If you want things to, to play out different, keep in mind you have free will and anything that you do based off of this knowledge that I just gave you will change the outcome, okay? So just keep that in mind. All right, Leo, I'll see you at the next reading.